was right here in the flesh I'm begging you to be reconciled to him I'm begging you to accept God's offer of love I'm begging you hallelujah to let God make a change in your life if you believe it give God a praise and shout hallelujah ah amen so what I'm trying to get over today amen when the Bible says to us uh, in the 21st verse of this chapter that we just read which is the last verse amen he says to us amen that God has made him amen sin for us who knew no sin amen God has made him to be sin for us who knew no sin that we might become the righteousness of God now here, here's, here's how you got to watch this amen amen sin is an inward thing. Uh, sin is an inward thing. Amen. Thank God. So in order for him to be the kind of savior that we need, watch this. Amen. God took all of our sins. Uh, amen. And poured them, not on him, but in him. Come on now. Come on now. Stay with me. Amen. He poured, he didn't pour our sins on him because being poured on him, that's what the animals got. Amen. Thank God. All, all of the sacrifices before Jesus, that's what they were. Their sin was placed on them. That's why the priest laid his hands on the head. Then nobody lay hands on the head of Jesus. Can I just talk to you a little bit? Hallelujah. Nobody laid hands on him. God opened him up and poured our sins into him and when he poured our sins into him it made him sin yes. Bible didn't say he became like sin no, the Bible said he was made sin yes, unto us yes. but here's the exchange here's the exchange <laughs> Amen. the exchange is he said that we might be made the righteousness of God so God poured sin in the Jesus and then he took his righteousness and poured it in us. Hallelujah. Uh, bless your name God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody gonna get this in a minute. Hallelujah. Because you can't get this and keep your feet and hand from moving. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. I know. Amen. We've been talking about he took our sins up on him. Hallelujah. He would pour our sins up was poured into him. Uh, thank God, this is why I said, and I'm not knocking King James, I read him, amen, but sometimes you need to go beyond where King James is uh, because King James had a lot of personal stuff, amen, that he needed to fit his own lifestyle. Uh, thank God, but here's the point, when you go back to the original, the Hebrew, you will find out, amen, thank God, that God opened Jesus up. Yeah. Uh, and poured uh, all of our sins uh, into him. Uh, and now whenever a person becomes a new creation, God opens up the heart and pours in the righteousness of a holy good God from glory and a living God. Uh, if you believe that, shout hallelujah. Therefore, Paul says, therefore, if any man be in Christ, yes, Lord. Yes, he don't become half new. He is. Ain't no ifs, maybes, shall be about it. He makes a bold statement. Thank God. If any man is in Christ, the only doubt is whether or not you in him. He said, if you're in him, you are a new creation. Old things. Oh God. Or passed away. He said, Behold, which means to look, lock in on, get your fiction on him. All things become new. When you say all oh, that means there isn't anything. Anybody with me? Yeah. Hallelujah. We're going to glory after a while. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank God. All things have become new. So I'm, so I'm a new creature. Uh, I'm a new creation. I'm, I'm, I'm brand new. I'm not overhauled. Amen. So he, when he poured into him 
the righteousness of God, we become God's righteousness. And when you become God's righteousness, that puts you on a different plane. Hallelujah. So you can operate at a different level. Think of you're not just a church goer. You're not just a pew warmer. Hallelujah. You are a new creation. Now, and you need to stand up in your power. Thank God and declare to the devil. Thank God that you cannot get to my head. You belong under my feet. I'm, I was made to rule. I, I was born to have authority. If you believe it, give God a praise in here. Too long, too long, too long have we lived under the illusion that some things that happen to us are supposed to happen. Listen to me, children of God. When God give you dominion, yeah, he will let stuff come, but he let it come to give you power over the stuff. Are you listening to me? Hey Amen. Thank God. If you never have to, have to conquer anything, then you never really know what the power is all about. Thank God. You got to subdue some stuff. Hey Amen. All of it don't come from the outside because that old dead man that's in you keep on wanting to rise up. He keep on wanting to be revived. He wants to go back to the old pattern. And so you got to keep him subdued. Yes, Lord. Oh, God, I bless you. Glory be to God. May I suggest to you today, you were not created just to exist. Yes, Lord. God. Hallelujah. You were created to live. Yes. And I'm talking about live abundantly. You were created to have peace and joy and righteousness. You were created to be in good health. You were created, amen, to be an example for the world. You were created, hallelujah, to know how to rule and have dominion. If you believe it, give God a praise in here. Bless your father. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to God. That, that, let, let me just run to this scripture right here real quick in, in 2 Corinthians. Amen. Chapter 3 and verse 18. Listen to what the Bible says here. Because I have to validate what I say. Amen. Thank God because sometimes folk, and I'm not saying you. Amen. But many times folk want to come back on me about a statement that I made. Amen. So I have, and they may say something to you. But I want you to have written proof. Amen. Thank God. I don't want you to just go out and say the pastor said. I want you to go to the book. Uh, and show them from the book. Uh, in verse 18, listen to what the Bible says. But we, oh God, I thank you. But we all with open face, uh, beholding as in a glass the glory, oh God, uh, of the Lord. Uh, uh, we're what? Change. We're what? Change. Say it loud. Change. We're changed from what? Change. From the same what? We are changed into, that's what I'm trying to get you to say, amen, the same, what? We are changed into, hallelujah, we are changed into, listen, I'm not a religious being. Uh, I'm a spirit being. Uh, hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm not locked in by religion. Uh, I'm not locked into tradition. Uh, I'm not locked into trying to please man. Uh, listen, I want you to understand that the free man uh, cannot be bound uh, when you understand who he is. <laughs> we are changed into the same image. From glory to glory, even as by what? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now watch this. I'm going to take you to something else. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I need a reader. I can't, I, are, you, are you able? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Because I want you to go to first, uh, go to Colossians chapter 1, amen, and look at verse 10. Amen. This new creation. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm, I'm just teaching because I want this to go out. Hallelujah. Thank God. I, I, I want to transform your thinking before you leave this house today. 
I want you to stop looking at the house as the man and start talking and listening to the man that's in the house. When the man in the house says you are more than a conqueror, he ain't talking about your house. He's talking about the man that's in the house. Hallelujah. And he said to the man in the house, conquer everything that comes against the house. Colossians chapter 1 verse 10. That ye might walk worthy. That you might walk, walk, walk worthy. Of the Lord. Uh-huh. Unto all pleasing. Yeah. Being fruitful mm -hmm. in every good work. Yeah. And increasing in the knowledge of God. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Uh, chapter 3. Yeah, that's where I'm going. Chapter 3. Amen. Chapter 1 was in my heart. Amen. Thank God. But chapter 3 is the verse that I want you to see. Chapter 3, verse 10. And having put on the new man. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You've got my, my, my all glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We don't want no confusion here, right? Amen. And having did what? Put on the new man. Put on the new man. Therefore, any man be in Christ. He is a new creature all things are passed away and behold all things have become new come on sister Wendy which is renewed uh huh you got you got to put off the old man and you put on the new which is renewed this man is renewed in knowledge. In not, other words, to renew knowledge, you got to have it at some point at some time, right? Amen. So in the beginning, man knew who he was. Uh, uh, he knew who he was. He understood his powers. He understood his operation until the God of this world blinded his mind. Yes, Amen. Thank you, God. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Woo! Mm. And have put on the new man. Ask somebody, so you get in this. Uh, hallelujah, hallelujah. And has put on the new man, which is created in knowledge. After the image. After what? The image. The image of him that created him. Oh, good God from glory. Woo hallelujah, hallelujah. You've been created in the knowledge in the image of him that create other way I got the same knowledge God got now don't misunderstand me I don't have as much knowledge uh, I have to be very careful I don't have as much knowledge but I've been created in the same I got some of the same knowledge let me say it to you like this I got enough knowledge of him they man to control everything that's going to come into my life that's right hallelujah that's right Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I put off the old man. And I put on the new. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. When you were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Not only. <laughs> uh, glory to God that God get in you. Amen. But you put him on. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. That's why Paul said, in him, we live, we move, and we have our being. That's why it says in the text, therefore, if any man be in, every one of us in here that's dressed today, we put on what we got on. Am I right? We put on the suit. We put on the dress. Hallelujah. We put it on. Now, just like we put it on, at any time you can take it off. But you know what? Hallelujah. The clothes is not going to remove themselves. No, ma'am. No, sir. Hallelujah. When he come in and you walking in favor with him, he going to abide with you. He said, I will never leave you, neither will I forsake you. That's uh, Colossians chapter 1, uh, 3, verse 10. We got it, right? Amen. One more. Go to Ephesians chapter 4. Look at verse 23 and 24. There's a reason for this. 4, 23, 24. Listen. Hmm. 
Hallelujah. Come on, stay with me. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Now, amen. Again, I'm going to put off the old man. And I'm going to be renewed. My mind needs a renewing. I need to change the way I think. Paul says in Romans chapter 2 and verse 12 that we be not conformed to this world, but be what? Transformed by the renewing of my Mind. How am I going to be transformed? By the renewing. I got to renew my mind. Yes. I got I to get rid of all that old stuff. Oh, <laughs> and you, well, let me just pause for a moment right here because you have to be careful about who you let in your mind. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. You have to be careful about who you let in your mind yes. because whoever gets control of your mind controls you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let me tell you like this. Because, see, thank you. <laughs> the new man, uh -huh. you, you have to get a revel. I'll be back, Sister Wendy. Amen. Yeah, you have to get a revelation. Uh -huh. Of the new man. All right? Amen. And when you get a revelation of the new man, amen, you, when you start seeing your life in a different perspective, amen. Thank God. You, amen. You, 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 your eyes have been anointed with eyes sad. You start seeing yourself in a different perspective. All right? Amen. Thank God. The new man, and, and, and so now that you're seeing yourself in a different perspective, yeah. amen, that's a new reality. Yeah. 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 Mm. Yeah. And the new reality, yeah. amen, is who you are. Yeah. Because however you see yourself, yeah. that's exactly who you are. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank God. So, so, so that he come to get, we need a revelation of the new man yeah. that I can get a new reality. Of who I am. Yes, Lord. Yeah. I'm going to help somebody before you leave here today. I feel the anointing. I feel it in here. Yeah, Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank yeah, God. So, so, now, so, so I'm, I'm, I'm learning because the, now revelation is to reveal something that's been hidden. Yeah, God. Yes. Amen. Thank God. So, so I'm learning some stuff. About me. Amen. About what's in me. Yes. Amen. I'm no longer confused about the house and the man. Yeah, God. Uh, hallelujah. I've been, I'm straight on that. Yes, Glory be to God. Now God has given me revelation. Yes. Amen. Uh, amen. The, the inner man. Oh, amen. That's bringing a new reality to my being. Let me tell you something, people of God. You got so many believers going around wondering why they are on planet Earth. Yeah. <laughs> amen. Amen. People, I hear it all the time. What's my purpose uh -huh. for being here? Yeah, God. <laughs> Amen. I'm talking about saved folk. Yeah. And I'm not criticizing. Amen. Thank God. The Bible said we perish for a lack of knowledge. Yeah. Amen. Thank God. So, so we're asking ourselves questions. What am I here for? I don't see no purpose for my life. Amen. Thank God. And so, you, and so we're running around doing all these things. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank God. Trying to satisfy something that we don't even know what we're looking for. Oh, bless you, Jesus. Uh, thank God. Thank God. So let, let me just kind of lay it out here for just a moment. Here's the point. Uh -huh. Amen. Thank God. The question is, what am I here for? Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One thing in particular, God's sole purpose, oh, amen, also God's goal, if you will, amen, for the life of every person he created on the planet is that we get back to the image of his son. Yay. Oh, God, I bless you. Yay. It has nothing to do with your guilt. <laughs> Doesn't have anything to do with your ministry. Yes, God. God's only concern yeah. is to get us back yeah. oh. to his image. Woo. Bless you, Jesus. And if you get back to his image, yeah. all these other things. Yeah. <laughs> I was having a conversation with someone just the other day. And they said to me, <laughs> Amen. They say, you, you seem to be so content about everything. 
Amen. You just content. You just content. Amen. Thank God with everything. That's true. You know why? Because I know why I'm here. Yeah. My life is to be spent conforming to the image of the Son of God. If I conform to the image of the Son of God, everything else, amen, evolves around, amen, my conforming to his image. If I conform to his image, then God will open up the eyes of my understanding that I will know what my next assignment is. Yes, oh, God, yes. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, come on, Sister Wendy. Let's, let's go so I can close out here. Amen. Thank God. I'm going to have to do a two or three, four, five part series on this. Amen. Thank God. All right. Renewed in the spirit of your mind. Now, I want to be renewed in the spirit that's in my mind. And that you put on the new man. And that I put on the new man. Which after God. How, this man is after who? God. Is created in righteousness. This man, this new man, is after God. Yeah. Is created in righteousness. Is created in righteousness and true holiness. And true holiness. Everybody got that? Yeah. Amen. This new man, watch this. Amen. That is created after God. <laughs> now here's something that everybody can relate to. Uh -huh. That has a relationship with God. Yeah. Amen. Thank God. It's twofold. Thank you, Lord. Amen. The person, this new man, is created <laughs> after God. Yeah. Hallelujah. God bless you. In the spirit of true holiness. Mm. That is, this new man has a thirst yeah. oh. and a hunger yeah. that goes. After God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's phase one. Amen. Phase two. Amen. Is going after God. God. That man is the only thing. That was created in the image of God. He was created after God. But he's created in the image of God. And in the likeness of God. Amen. Thank God. So he is, amen, the, high, the second highest class of life in the earth is man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Man is created above every animal. Yes. Even the stars, the sun, and the moon yes, Lord. does not get the glory yeah, that man gets from God. Yes, Lord. Oh. Can you imagine in your mind how God feel when he see you walking in victory. When he see your shoulders squared up and your head lifted up. Hallelujah. And you're facing every challenge. Hallelujah. You're not dreading it. You're not weary. Thank God. But you got an opportunity to show who you really are. Hallelujah. A lot of folk, listen, watch this. They mean, a lot of folk drive by the house and say, I wonder who lived there. Yeah, God. Mm. You know, I, I did it. I've driven by houses. And I said, I wonder who lived there. Because uh -huh. oh, the house really looked good. Yeah. Amen. So I, I'm admiring looking at the house, but I hadn't seen the person that's in the house. Yes, so. uh, but I need to investigate a little bit more. I need to find out who lived there. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank God. Because what I need to know is how you come by. <laughs> Uh, what you have I, I need to Lord have mercy I need to investigate uh, and find out uh, how you come by what you got amen and how you're living do you really have peace yes God <laughs> hallelujah do you have joy yes Glory to God. Are you joy in things or is it in Christ Jesus? Am I rejoicing because the old man has been crucified and the new man has returned to his rightful place? Oh God. Yes, Father. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank God. Thank God. So so here we go. Here we go. 
Oh, God. Let me just cover this one and I'm done. We finished that, did we not, Sister Wendy? Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Now, now, now here's something uh, that, um, um, amen, uh, is, is very inspiring because in John chapter, I say John chapter 12, 14 and verse 12, here is where Jesus says, hallelujah, I want you to duplicate. And I'm going to close with this one. Amen. Take the other one up maybe Wednesday night or, or, or sometime, in, maybe next Sunday or whenever. Hallelujah. But in John chapter 12, or 14 rather, in verse 12, hallelujah. Barely, barely I say unto you. Jesus says, here now I want you to duplicate. <laughs> he that believeth on me. This is a new man. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, duplication, shall he do also. The works that I do, shall he do also. And greater works than these, and greater works than these, shall he do. Shall he do. Because I go unto my father. Mm -hmm. now, 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 don't get confused because he's not talking about the house. Uh -huh. Amen. He's talking about the person that's living in the house. Uh -huh. He don't want the house ain't going to do nothing. <laughs> the only purpose of the house is to cover the person that's living in the house. Yeah. That's the only purpose the house has. So then the person that's in the house, listen what he said, he's talking to the new man. He ain't talking to the, that house, he's talking to the new man. He said the new man, amen, is going to do the works that I do, uh -huh. and then he's going to do great. Uh, is anybody following what I'm talking about? Yeah. Amen. Thank God. The Bible said, Paul said, with all of you getting, get understanding. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank God. So he said, I want you to duplicate. Yeah. 